Hi you guys, so I just wanted to make um, a video and describe to you what exactly um, the program that I did for 10 months was. It's called AmeriCorps and Triple C and um, this video is mostly for either friends or family who just don't exactly understand what it is that I did for a year and also for people that are interested in the program I want to give them like more of an overview of what the actual program is and what you do so if you go onto the website www.my.americorps.gov it's basically going to tell you AmeriCorps NCCC which means National Civilian Community Corps is a full-time team-based residential program for men and women ages 18 to 24 members are assigned to one of five campuses there's one in Denver, one in Sacramento, California, one in Baltimore, Maryland, that's the one that I went to, um, one in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and then one in Vinton, Iowa. And basically, AmeriCorps and Triple C, it was a program modeled from the Civilian Conservation Corps of the 30s, and it has like a military structure of the way that things work. So, <clears throat> basically, the outline of the 10 months is that you have CTI at whichever of the five campuses that I mentioned previously and so mine was in Baltimore and that was the campus that I would go to in between projects and then I ended the year there and I started the year there so I did CTI there which is Core Training Institute and Core Training Institute is basically a series of classes um, eight hours a day in the building and it teaches you like the differences in diversity and why it's important, like how to be a successful volunteer, like how to work hard, like how to use tools, stuff like that. Um, and then after that, you have a four week long project, you go back to the campus for a transition week, which is kind of more of those classes, and it deals with like life after AmeriCorps, and so you're like looking for like exploring careers and stuff. And so you go back to Baltimore for transition week, that's one week. And then you on your second project, that's six weeks long, go back to Baltimore for a transition week. And then your third project, eight weeks long, back to Baltimore for a transition week. And your fourth and final project, ten weeks long. And then after that, you go back to Baltimore for, I call it, mandatory fun week. Which basically, you have like a few like closing out stuff to do, like turning in stuff. But besides that, it's pretty much like just hang out with your friends because you don't know like the next time you're going to see them since everyone is from everywhere you know so my experience basically I joined the program when I was 18 I wanted to go to a four-year university but like my mom couldn't co-sign on loans and so I had no way to get student loans and I was looking into substitutes for the Peace Corps because I found out that you had to have a bachelor's degree to go to the Peace Corps in many cases so and that's how I stumbled across AmeriCorps. And so I joined. Uh, I was 220 pounds when I joined. I ended up losing like 35 pounds throughout the year just because, I don't know, it like inspires you to want to be the best person, the best version of yourself and stuff. But, so the Baltimore campus, if any of you watching this um, got accepted to that campus, basically the building, there's the basement called the HLC and that's where all your classes and stuff are held that's where you go first thing in the morning for drew which is daily roundup i'll explain more about that later and then on the first floor there's where the that's where the staff like does all their work and their offices are the second floor is the guys floor and the third floor is the girls floor um, the rooms the sleeping arrangements there's sixteen people per room so there's eight bunk beds and it's really not as bad as it seems like it's a really good way to meet people for sure and then on the guys floor there's also a core club and that has TVs pool tables like a media room with computers gaming systems stuff like that <clears throat> so when you first go to um, when you first join AmeriCorps you go through in processes in processing which is like getting your uniforms like getting all your records taken care of like stuff like that and then you do CTI for a month, and that's all that training that I talked about. And every morning that you're in Baltimore for either Transition Week or CTI or whatever, you have this thing called Drew in the morning, which is daily roundup. 
And so the way that this campus works is there's three units. There was like a falcon unit, a buffalo unit, and a moose, a moose unit. And then within those three units, there was like four or five teams per per unit. So like there would be like a moose one, a moose two, moose three, etc. Falcon one, falcon two, you know. And that's how you would line up. So like my team, we were called Falcon Five. So we would be in our unit, and then the fifth row down. And basically, Drew, you just go over like the schedule. You do like the AmeriCorps pledge, the Pledge of Allegiance, that kind of stuff. And then. So for like the first week or so that you're there, you get a pod, which is basically a temporary team. So it'll be you, a team leader, and like eight to ten like people. And those are the like whenever you start getting a feel for like cooking arrangements and just like talk, like having to work with people on a team and stuff. And then after that week, you get your your permanent team, and that's the team that you stay with for like all ten months. Like you live with them, you cook with them, you sleep with them, you work with them, like you're gonna get to know each other pretty well and then on every team there's a team leader and basically that person they do like weekly paperwork they overlook the team whenever you guys are working um, they get paid like two times more than just regular core members do and they just have like authority and they wear green shirts that's why they're called team green <laughs> and then like I want to um, I want to go over like how cooking is because Cooking's like really funny, but it's also really hard. But you learn a lot. Like you have to cook for like eight to twelve people, and getting those servings, like knowing how much to make, it's so hard to know at first. Like it was so hard, like cooking extravagant meals or like something special. And then um, you also, it's mandatory that you do three days of PT per work, per week, which is basically like forty-five minutes of PT three days a week. It's not bad at all. Like, if anything, it's just a good way to, like, blow off some stress, like, bond with your teammates, have fun, like, it's pretty fun. And then, also, one thing that I didn't know coming into the program is that you you would get assigned one to two specialty roles. And so the specialty roles at the Atlantic Region campus, the one in Baltimore, you have recruiter, health and wellness liaison, project outreach li liaison, service learning initiator, vehicle safety and tools officer and assistant team leader and so just if you're going into the program be prepared to do a little bit of extra work like with those um the vans like i didn't know that we would have opportunities to drive a vehicle so i was pretty pumped when i found out about this so i got certified as an americorps van driver we have these 15 passenger vans that we drive like to different states and everything um, you have to take it like you have to do rookie hours, rookie training, with your team leader to get qualified for that, and then you have to ask your team leader before you go anywhere because it's technic like it's their van technically like you have to go through them if you want to go somewhere, and then you also have to have two other people with you if you're driving and you can't go outside of a 25 mile radius without asking your unit leader. And the unit leader is like one step above the team leader whenever it comes to authority. And then you can only like use the vans for fun during the weekends. So like during the week I think the most we would do is like go to Walmart or something like a health and wellness run. So my first round I was working with Delaware State Parks. We were doing um, environmental stewardship. That was the area of work. Um, we were staying in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. We were living in cottages. Like it was a five-minute walk to the beach. There were outlet malls like 15 minutes away. It was great, and like the work we were doing there. Um, we were working in Kate Henlopen State Park, and from what I remember, I think we were just like we were putting logs and like like branches into this wood chipper, and then we were building fences. Like I can't remember what else we did, but that was pretty much the basis. And then from there we moved to Dover, Delaware. Uh, we were living in like a dorm style type of building. Um, it was like where they had interns stay for like scientific, like I don't know, like biology or something. I can't remember. It was a tiny kitchen, like probably like a six square feet. It was crazy. Like trying to cook for 12 people in a tiny kitchen. Oh my god. Um, and then out back there was like this beautiful like trail and it like it took you on a bridge that you would walk on and like the bridge would go over like this marsh like this area of marsh land it was beautiful 
Um, and we also worked on site, so that was nice. We didn't have to travel. The types of work we did there, I think we just like we planted like flowers and different types of plants around the the land. Um, I know we stained some fences and we also like power washed some fences. That was about it. And from there, we went to Delaware City, and we thought it was gonna be like a big city. No, it was like it was like six streets, and then it had like a bunch of condemned houses. And I'm pretty sure the house we were staying in was supposed to be one of those condemned houses, but. We, we we lived there and it was okay besides the ant infesta infestation, but <laughs> yeah. So besides that, like we had a whole house for ourselves. That was nice, but there were only three bedrooms, and so there were two people sleeping on cots in the living room. There were two people sleeping on cots in the sunroom, and then there were like three people per bedroom or something crazy like that. Like basically only the kitchen and the bathroom were cotless, <laughs> and um. The work we were doing there, we would take a boat over across the bay onto this island, and it was called Fort Delaware, and that was a fort that they held um, prisoner, Confederate prisoners captive during the Civil War. I actually had my first paranormal experience there too, and it was it was really like interesting and scary, but <laughs> it was fun. And we mostly just like swept around the fort and like organized stuff, but yeah, it was a pretty good experience. And then. My second round, we worked with the loading dock, which is like a type of warehouse, and they like salvage like used doors and like materials for people, and they like sell it for cheap. And we were just like organizing doors, and we like there was a point when we were just like cleaning these toilets that they had on display outside, and like organizing the toilet lids by like color. I don't know, it was something stupid, but I mean, hey, someone's got to do it, right? And then. <laughs> We were working in New York City. We were living in Cypress Hills in Brooklyn. We got unlimited metro cards so we could take the subway anywhere. We went to Coney Island. It was great. And um, the work that we were doing there is we were working with the public schools in Manhattan and Staten Island. I think someone went to Queens one time, I think. And we were teaching the staff and the students about the importance of recycling and we would like monitor their lunchroom waste and we would just try to get them on board with it like teach them the difference between composting and like recycling and what can be recycled because there's a lot of things that people don't know that I didn't even know until I got trained on it too honestly and then so after that my third round my third project I went and applied for this composite team and so I don't think every campus does this but the Baltimore one does um, a composite team is whenever the staff will put out like um, a brief overview of a project and then people from any team can apply for that pro project and the staff picks people to be on it so you're on like a whole new like you're with a whole new group of people that you've like never worked with before usually I was lucky enough to be on there with um, one of my teammates and so and we were also on pods together like our temporary teams and so I was with her literally the whole round and it was great I mean the whole year and so on this team, this team, um, it was a really great experience. It was called um, the Camp Dream slash Appalachian Trail Conservancy Project. Um, camp Dream, it's basically a summer camp in um, Vermont, and it's in the forest, and it's for disadvantaged kids. And so what we were doing there is we were living in lean-tos, which is like a an enclosure, but it only has three walls, and so that fourth wall, you could like just walk out and like you're in the fucking forest you know and <clears throat> so yeah we did that and th there was canoeing there it was it was great like we our school there was a school bus that broke down there and we used it as a kitchen and like storage for food there were fire pits everywhere we had fires like every night um and the type of work we did was trail maintenance we like we moved these big boulders from up under the ground and like we would have to lay them so that the kids could like easily step on them like imagine like little five-year-olds like with their little legs and stuff like we had to take a lot of things into consideration and then carrying like big buckets of like gravel out to help lay down those stones and stuff yeah like I've gotten good at a lot of things that I never would have thought <laughs> of even doing and then from there we went to Maine and we we camped with our sponsors, they were also our supervisors. Um, so we had six people on our team at that point, and then w including our supervisors, we had eight. 
and we would split into three different teams, and basically we worked on different sections of the Appalachian Trail's boundary. And so, like, say you hiked onto the trail, like you were on the trail hiking, you would hike until it took an hour and a half per week, and then once you hit an hour and a half, like, that's whenever you would start a new section. But basically, so you hike on to wherever it is that you're working, and then you would have to cut across from, like, if this is the trail, you would go off the trail, and you would find the boundary between, like, the conserved land and then the private private land. And then, once we found the boundary, we would use, like, compasses and everything. And <clears throat> one person would be painting blazes on the trees so that people from both sides can see, like, don't cross onto either the private or the conserved land. And then two people behind the person painting would be, like, using loppers and cutting down trees or anything that's going to block, like, being able to see the blaze that's on the tree. Um, on weekends, we stayed at, like, campsites with a lot of other people. We met a lot of hikers and a lot of really cool people doing that. Um, the weekdays, we would camp. We would hike onto the trail. Like, I think the first time we hiked, it was three and a half miles, and we had to carry our tents, our tools, like, our paint. We had to carry food, like, all this stuff, and it was hell, like, let me tell you. So, yeah, during the weekdays, we would camp, like, by the lean-tos for the hikers, but we wouldn't we wouldn't sleep in the lean-tos. Um, so, yeah, that is basically the summary of that. And then my fourth round, all of it, the Atlantic region ended up going to Louisiana for the disaster response from the flood that happened in August. And... The first place we stayed was called a Civic Center, and it was in New Roads, Louisiana. Um, there was like 130 people sleeping on either cots or like one-person tents on this gym floor. And it was also a bunch of conservation corps and stuff there, and like other regions went also, so we met a lot of people. Um, the second place we were staying was a National Guard base in Carville, Louisiana. The guys slept in one building, there were like 30 people per room, like same with the cots and the tent and everything. And then the girls slept like a five minute walk away. They were three people per room. Um, basically, all we did was we mucked and gutted. And we would work like ten hours a day. We would muck and gut houses, which is basically like deconstruction of the interior of the house. Like taking, like trimming off, taking, like using chalk line and like cutting into the drywall. Like taking off the drywall where like the water had um, rose to that level, like where there was mold, we would have to be in like full Tyvex with like respirators, like glo like goggles, ear protection, helmets, like everything. And then our team was also like half the week we would be in the call center and we would answer calls and we would also call people and check up on them if they were affected by the flood and we would put down their information into a database to see and like all the volunteer agencies that were responding to the flood they had access to that information and so they could see like what they would be able to help with and they would get in contact with those people directly about helping them with their home and it was all for free so people were super grateful and it was a really good way to put things in perspective like to take calls about people like in distress like they need help they're sick from the mold like everything and then like, there was one instance where we took a call, and then someone, like, the next day actually went out and mucked and gutted that person's home. So, yeah, you never know. And then, yeah, so that was my AmeriCorps year, and I have to say, like, it changed my life. It changed my perspective on everything. It humbled me as a person. Like, I mean, I lost weight. I am happier than I was before. Like, I have a better idea of what I want to do, I have all these skills, and I would totally recommend it for anyone that's either, like, not ready for college, or just needs a break, like, needs a different experience, like, if you want to travel, if you're between 18 and 24, like, this is an opportunity that's open to you, and I highly recommend that you do it, or, like, even if it's not AmeriCorps and Triple C, like, do a different AmeriCorps program that requires less hours, or do, like, a Conservation Corps if that's what you're into, I don't know, just... Go out, volunteer, have fun. If any of you have any questions or anything, like, I'm always open to comments or shoot me a message, like, whatever. Whatever you want to do. So, thank you for watching. If you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. If not, that's okay, too. Like, give me a little thumbs up or whatever. 
So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.